Hi, my name is Angie and I want to thank you so much for coming to check out my video. In this video, I am going to show you how to hem a pair of pants using the original hem. Now the first thing you do is measure down from the waist to the length that you want your pants or you can measure from the inseam. So the crotch down to the length that you want your pants. Chalk mark it and cut it on that line. Then you take the hem, as I'm showing right here, and I'm measuring from the stitching line to the fold. And I believe this one is 3 8 of an inch. So I am going to chalk mark it here, and I do it just under 3 8 of an inch because when I open the seam and I sew it to the pants and I fold that seam allowance into the hem, I want to make sure that the hem can fold back over that seam allowance without creating too much bulk inside. So after I cut it off, I remove the pins. I pin it to make sure that the hem is even on both sides. And so whatever length I cut it at, it's gonna be the same on both sides and I'm not gonna have an issue when I sew it back onto the pant leg. And when you pin the hem back onto the pants be sure to make sure there's a seam which is a regular seam and the other one is a flat felled seam make sure you match those up and make sure the stitching lines are matched up perfectly and the way you do that is you match up with your fingers and you put pins on either side to make sure that when you sew it the presser foot doesn't push that top layer off off uh, center so I'm, I'm doing both sides and it looks good. And I do the other side, it just aligning that seam in the hem and in the pant leg. When you sew, you are going to make sure that the original stitching line for the hem is just to the left of your needle. So it's somewhere under that left toe of your presser foot. And just make sure it's straight all the way around so that when you fold it over, it's gonna, you're gonna catch it underneath too. And <clears throat> here it is. Matches it pretty good. There you go. Now what I did is I went over and I pressed them down. I take the seam allowance and you press them towards the hem and give it a good steam to make sure it's gonna lie flat. Then you stitch from the top, not the underside. So you fold it under and what you're gonna do is that seam at the bottom is going to come right up against that left toe of that presser foot. So it aligns that needle right on the edge. So you can barely even see that seam where we had cut the pants. And I'll show you when I'm finished. If you found this video helpful, um, I would appreciate it if you would like it and share it and subscribe and uh, wait for new videos. Thank you.